Now the vice versa case is like this n2 phi 2 is equal to m21 i1. So what is this m21 mutual inductance of coil S2 with respect to S1. To coil S1. Now we are going to write the equations for this N2 phi 2 and equating the M21 UI1. Let us say this is some equation 3. We already got the equation for N12 before. So what is this N2? We can write it as N2L because N, N2 turns each turn has length L. The multiplication product is said to be N2 means total number of turns in the secondary coil. Okay. So the total number of coils is equal to each turn into number of uh, length of the each turn. So now what we can write n2 phi 2 is equal to n2 l into this phi 2 is nothing but b dot a so pi r2 square into mu naught n1 i1 this refers to b this refers to a so phi is equal to b a so again we can write n2 phi 2 is equal to mu naught n1 n2 l pi r2 square i1 we got the equation like this so it is not divided by a or divided by b we can write a is equal to pi r2 square and b is equal to mu naught n1 i1 so now n2 phi 2 is equal to m21 i1 therefore m21 i1 is equal to mu naught n1 n2 l pi r2 square i1 i1 and i2 get i1 and i1 get cancelled on each side so therefore we can write m21 is equal to mu naught n1 n2 l pi r2 square If you see the equations of the previous one and this one, these two equations are having same value. But uh, what is the physical significance of these values? We are going to see now. Next we will see the useful expression for the mutual inductance. What we can understand? M12 is equal to M21. Suppose we can write M12 is equal to M21 is equal to M. Then the equation will change like this. Mu R relative permeability mu naught n1 n2 pi r1 square l so what we can understand n phi is equal to mi or n1 phi 1 is equal to m1 to i2 we know that now I am applying the differentiation on both sides. d by dt of n phi 1 is equal to d by dt of m i 2. Let us suppose. We know that d by dt of n phi 1 is equal to minus emf. Therefore, emf is equal to minus d by dt of n phi 1. So therefore, we can write emf is equal to minus of t by dt of m i2 so therefore minus m into di2 by dt two by dt this is one more expression for the emf with respect to the inductance and current so we can write E in proportional to inductance and di with respect to, to dt. So this is the expression for 
mutual inductance of coils C1 and C2 with respect to their radii R1 and R2 with respect to their mutual inductance M1 to 1, M2 to 1 and current passing through them. Now we will see one problem. Two concentric circular coils means two circular coils which has same center. One of small radius R1 and the another of large radius R2 such that R1 is much less than R2 means uh, we can neglect the radius R1 when compared to the R2 are placed coaxially with the centers coinciding. So obtain the mutual inductance of the arrangement. So what we can understand from this problem one is R1 radius and the one is some R2 radius but we can say R1 is much less than R2. If this is the case, what is the way to find out the mutual inductance? So, now two coils, mutual inductance means maybe M1 to R, M21. So, we can write like this. What is the flux? We know that BA. Phi1 is equal to B1, A1. What is B1? Mu0 I2 by 2 R2. What is A1 pi R1 square? Now try to simplify this equation or adjust the equation like this. Mu0 to pi 2 R2 into pi R1 square into I2. This is the flux equation. So phi1 is equal to what we can write for n number of turns? m1 to i2. So from this comparison we can write m12 is equal to mu0 pi r1 square by 2 r2. So according to the symmetry we can write that m12 is equal to m21. Therefore m12 is equal to m21 is equal to mutual inductance so therefore mutual inductance m is equal to mu naught pi r1 square by 2 r2 so this is the final expression of this type of problem and in the same type of problem they will give the radius uh, R1 with respect to one particular value, R2 one particular value and they will give the remaining values also. They will ask to find out uh, what is the mutual inductance of the system. Then we should uh, remember this formula to simplify the equation in a simple way. So these type of formulas are very very important and works as a shortcut in competitive exams. Self inductance. So what is the self inductance? The previous example we saw that change in flux in one coil and induced EMF in the nearest coil. But in self inductance change in flux due to the magnetic field which is outside or change in flux inside the coil with respect to that in the same coil only we can see the change in EMF or induced EMF. So this is called self inductance means flux is directly proportional to current for n number of turns we can write the same expression n phi b is proportional to i if you remove the proportionality condition n phi b is equal to l i this l is called self inductance if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus